Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we'll talk about research misconduct. On the first slide, in the picture, you can see the person is intentionally throwing out some data from the table and he knows what he is doing. So research misconduct is intentionally done and is wrong act. Now what is research? Research is a systematic investigation to find out the truth. That means we are doing standard methods, using standard methods to document the result or the truth which is there existing in the nature. So we are trying to find out that truth by research. And then what is research misconduct? Research misconduct is defined as fabrication, falsification or plagiarism in proposing, performing or reviewing research or even in reporting the results of that research. So there are three key elements in this definition. First is fabrication, second is falsification and third is plagiarism. So there is some content which is written on the slide but to make you simply understand these words I'll explain them in just small three words. Fabrication is manipulation. Falsification is false data, cooked up data, cooked up, cooked up results and plagiarism is copy pasting the information which is already available on net into your research at any level even in the review of literature or in methods. So this is unacceptable and should not be done if done is known as research misconduct. There is a book which is published in 2018 by Rita Faria. She is faculty of the school of criminology, faculty of law at the University of Porto, Portugal and she is also a member of International Research Center on Crime, Justice and Security. And the title of this book is Research Misconduct is a white collar crime. That means a person who is well educated, qualified, knows pros and cons of what he is doing. He knows about the output or the consequences of his act, still he is doing the wrong things. That is known as research misconduct. Now why research should be conducted in proper ethical way? Because it gives us, then only it gives us reliable, reproducible and valid results. So research conduct is directly related to reproducibility, reliability and validity of the results. Now this diagram is the best way to understand what is reproducibility, what is validity. So in the third graph or third figure you can see all the hits they are in the center. That means these results they are reproducible because all dots they are hitting in the center at the same point.